For nearly three hours tonight, Stockton School Board members heard from both past and current students, parents, police officers, and other community members on both sides of this issue, whether to defund the school district's police department. In terms of fixing it, we need to straight up defund it. No reform is nothing. This is Silas Shaw, a member of the youth-led group called Stockton Coalition for Shared Safety. Now a student at the University of the Pacific, she's calling for Stockton School Board to defund the district's police department, bring ethnic studies and black studies to all of the campuses, and abolish the zero tolerance policy, which she says disproportionately hurts students of color. But this is been a long discussion we've had for years actually. So. She says the nearly $8 million budgeted for the district's police department could be spent instead on more counselors, social workers and nurses. Officer David Rose, president of the school district's police officers association, says eliminating the department altogether would hurt the community. It would be a disservice to our students. It would be a disservice to our staff, the surrounding areas and the rest of our community. And in the event of a school shooting, he says the district would have to rely on off campus resources, meaning longer response times. He instead wants to use this conversation to create a transparent partnership with this coalition to show the changes they've already been making. We want to work together and there's a huge opportunity for us to do that in the future. Ultimately, the board used tonight as a discussion and tabled any decision for a later date.